Kislen is mine. God gave this land to me. This land is golden land to me. And then the morning sun. This song is not him. This song is a tema song of a movie Exodus. It's, it, 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 it was a classic movie. This song was a very popular song. What? This land, this land is mine. This land is to people of the Israel. Joshua, who assistant of Moses, who leader of children of Israel, stood at the before the Jordan River. I, I stood at this pulpit today that I'm going to tell you the story of Joshua that Joshua read the people of Israel crossing over the river of Jordan. This land, this land, which God promised to, to Abraham and Isaac, Jacob, to giving descendants as your inheritance. All right. I'm going to tell this story. You can enjoy. The Bible say uh, yes. According to Joshua chapter 3. We see that the children of Israel were instructed to break a camp and pack their belongings, form of the line, and be ready to march. March to where? To cross over the river of Jordan toward the, the land, Canaan, which is now Israel. Promised land. God promised to Abraham and his descendants to give him this land. The priest who carried the Ark of Covenant were commanded to proceed into the Jordan River before the people until their feet were wet. I don't. Joshua ordered before the people of Israel were going to move. Listen, what he said.
Oh, I'm gonna tell you. The Joshua said the priest, Levite, you carry out the Ark of Covenant. And in advance of the people of Israel. And go to the river of the Jordan. Let me tell you, the Ark of Covenant was Israel's most sacred treasure. It was a symbol of God's presence and power. The Ark of the Covenant was a you know, golden rectangles, rectangles box with the two cherubim. Uh, you know, and facing each other, lead. Inside the ark were, you know, the and the tablet of the Ten Commandment. Moses received the law from the God in Mount Sinai, and uh, the manna, the bread. God miraculously sent this manna to feed 40 years to children of Israel. And in Aaron's staff, which is you know, the symbol of the high priest authority. According to the God's law, only the Levites could carry this Ark of the Covenant. All right. So, Levites, priests, and all the people of Israel listened what Joshua said before. They moved, crossing the, over the Jordan River. They obeyed. God's instruction through the mouth of the Joshua. Oh, we, let me tell you, we should listen what God going to speak to you before you make action. Before you, whatever you do, Hmm? Fourthly, we got to do it to listen God's instruction, like uh, Joshua said to people. You know, sometimes uh, God provides no solution to our problem with problem until we trust him. You so you know Bible say Bible say Joshua said, when you see the Ark of the Covenant, Lord your God, and the priest who divides, carried this, this is, you are to move out from your position and follow it. 
then you will know which way to go. Since you have never been this way before, they followed exactly what Joshua ordered. So they could crossing over the Jordan River successfully. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. Oh my, my God, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Why? Why would God help the Israel drive out these nations, seven nations, who uh, they had lived in the land of Canada from their native land? Genesis 15, 16 said that the people of Canaan Oh, wicked, it's evil people, they lived at that land and deserved to be punished for their terrible sins. God, God said to Abraham. But I want to tell you, more important reason we should know. This is a fact. Why God also cast out these seven tribes to drive out that, from that land. Israel is a holy people. God chose this nation. They could not live together among the those nation, evil people, hmm? they are so evil and idol, idol, they worship the idol, God hate. We can't live in sins. God hate them. This is Second uh, Corinthians 6, chapter 14 through to 16. Huh? What, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What agreement is Jesus between temple of God? You are the temple of God. The temple of God and the idol. Therefore, came out from then be separated. Hmm? We cannot live in sin. You are the holy, holy people God chose. You can, I cannot live in simple, simple situation, simple mind that we should repent. All right. You just uh, before crossing over into the promised land, you know, Joshua gathered the people to hear the Word of the Lord. People were exciting. There's no doubt they wanted to the Russian. But Joshua made him stop to listen firstly. 
You know, we live in the fast-paced age where everyone rushes just to keep up. It is easy to get caught up in our tasks, becoming too busy for what God said is the most important listening to his word, as I told you. Before making your schedule, take time focus on the what God wants you from all your activities. Knowing what God has said before you, rush into your day can help you avoid your foolish mistake. Oh, Christopher Columbus, you know, who had discovered and the new land, 1492. He always said, sail on, sail on. Whenever their situation was getting worse, there was no hope to seeing nothing in hope. Their the fellow worker, his companion threatened to the revolt against him, wanted him back. He said, always say it on, say it on. Finally, through the darkness, the call, call came. Land ho, land ho. Oh my. God called Abraham to leave his home, his forefathers, the kindred. Abraham obeyed, he went out, not knowing whether he was going to. Hebrews 11, chapter 8. Sometimes God calls us to leave our comfort zone. Well, you don't want to leave. You want to stay this place, you know. But God said, leave. Get out of the dead place where you are living now. You're going to enjoy the place God doesn't like. Like Abraham. And to launch out into the deep. I want to tell you another story. Today, as of today's text, Jesus Christ said to Simon, Peter, after he spoke to the crowd who came around him to listening his sermon at the shore of the Galilee. Jesus said, according to Luke chapter 5, chapter 4, You, Jesus said to Simon, pull out, pull out your net and let down the deep water or catch a fish. Simon said, Master, we walked hard all life, but we haven't caught anything. But, but, I 
will let thou my net into deep water as you said so. He immediately obeyed what Jesus said. Hmm? What happened? When they had done so, Bible said, they caught the such a lot of fish that that was going to break. Hmm. Simon was shocked. Simon was awestruck at these miracles. Oh, the fish are in deep water, not in shallow water. Our deeds are met in the deep things of God. We must be in the depths of His will and propose until our whole being and character is yield in obedience to God. We have to surrender all we have to the Lord. We must learn to take God at the His word as Abraham did. Lunch out, I want to tell you. Lunch out, march on the forward with your faith for the gospel. God gave assignment like uh, people of Israel. Lunch out. The key to Abraham's faith was that he looked for a city which had a foundation whose builder and master is God. Hebrews 11, chapter 10. Oh, thank you, Lord. March, march out, lunch out, march forward with Jesus Christ. God commands you, listen to the God's word, holding the God's instruction, march forward in your faith to the glory of God. Your success will be guaranteed by the Lord God, you believe. Like people of Israel who completely crossing over the Jordan River and possessed the land, promised the land, Canada, which God promised his father, for father, yes, Abraham. You, you will be doing like the people of Israel. If we listen, God's word, hallelujah, march out like Peter, 
you will get success. See and the glory of God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. See you later. Bye-bye.